Hello fellow art nerds, welcome back to the Wing Canvas channel. My name is Rachel and today I'm going to be turning a strawberry into a cute anime chibi girl. <laughs> I think of strawberries as the sort of sweet but sour fruit, you know, strawberries look so appealing but they're always sour for some reason. I wanted to capture that in my character, so I'm thinking of someone that looks sweet on the outside but on the inside they're low-key suspicious. So I'm going to start with my basic shape, which is a circle. I'm going to draw in the face first and kind of see how I want the body to look like afterwards. I kind of see Strawberry as the mean girl in school. She's super nice acting to teachers and figures of authority, but she will cut someone's throat if they get in her way. That's how I'm imagining this character. I'm getting some high ponytail vibes from her, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give her a slicked back high ponytail. I think they're super cute with her ponytail. Had that little leaf-like thing as the ponytail itself. So that's what do. I imagine Strawberry has the newest items released by designer brands and such. So I'm gonna make her super stylish, but in like a casual way, like a high school mean girl type of way, stereotypical way. This does look different from the drawings I've done before earlier on in the series because the fruits before I kind of saw more innocence in them. I made them look tinier like children. But Strawberry, she's in high school. We gotta make her look, you know, older. You know, some ripped jeans like the cool kids do. Some mitten hands like the ones I did in previous characters because you got to keep it looking similar. Holding up the fist because she's high-key suspicious. Put a little strawberry graphic on her tee because, you know, she's strawberry. She's got to have some strawberry on her. And the rough sketch is complete. I'm going to ink this in and then color it with marker. Now that I've erased my graphite lines, I'm going to thicken up some of these lines, give it a bit more interest. We love different line weights. We love a dynamic queen. And now that I've done that, I'm just going to color in my drawing and then I'll be done. I'm deciding to give her red hair because, you know, why not make her a little wild, a little out there. Also, she's supposed to be based off a of strawberry, so I'd be a fool not to give her red hair. Not gonna lie, Strawberry's looking like a pretty cool gal. You know what? Why not have yellow pants? I'm feeling it. Let's have some yellow pants. Strawberry is just so cool that she gets to wear yellow pants. Alrighty, and let's shade this one. And afterwards, I think I'm gonna give her some fun eyeshadow. Because why not? Strawberry is a fun, cool teen girl. I want to give this girl some sick red eyes. Because she's a strawberry. Let's put some yellow in there. Throw some nice complimenting colors. Since her pants are yellow, why not? She is looking rad as heck. I am loving that. Awesome. Awesome. Just a few more touches, like some shadows in her teeth right here. 
little dimension in her eyes. Just do a little typography, a little calligraphy. I think this would look nice. So I'm gonna add it. A little nickname, Straub. Hey, what's up? My name's Straub. Super cool. Super into this really illustrative look today. Every day I make very different looking illustrations. Or you may think they're kind of similar, but I personally feel like they look kind of different. And that's just because every day I'm in a different mood. Not all your art has to look the same. I think that's the great thing about it, is that you can just be creative and do what you want, you know? I'm kind of going for this doodly look, like Straub or Strawberry wrote her name on like a desk or in her notebook in school or something. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I just made this decision now, you know? Sometimes when I finish a piece, I add these random touching final, um, I add these final touches that I didn't think I would add in the beginning, but as you create your piece, you know, sometimes things just change. I'm gonna add a dynamic background. I think yellow would be a good color choice for it. And I'm just gonna do a swipe, like a big dynamic rectangle behind Strawberry, because I feel like that would look nice. And I think, just to add some dynamicism, I'm going to do some cool 3D-like effects. Since it's blue on yellow, it looks green. And, as we all know, strawberries have a hint of green because of the little leaf. And the green that I used on strawberry herself, I don't really like how it's not as bright as I'd like it to be, at least for this background. So. I've chosen to use a blue marker on the yellow instead. Because we all know that this yellow equals green. Let me know what you think, if I should have added this or not, in the comments down below. While you're at it, feel free to subscribe if you like what you're watching. You know, the whole deal. If you really like it, you can feel free to share it with somebody you know. And here's the final piece. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you like it a lot, please share it with a fellow art nerd, and if you love receiving quality and free art education, subscribe.